both the boy and the girl will be, develop pubic hair a lot will change at this period welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl Achen P here and i'm the host to this channel i know it has been quite a long time since i last posted tonight i will be talking about something that is quite interesting and that is how we get to know that our teenage children have changed and what changes they experience as they grow so stay tuned do not go away thank you for sticking around how do you know that your son or daughter has changed is the question tonight I've looked at this in two consecutive ways one the avoidable changes and two the non avoidable changes I'll start with the non avoidable changes because these are hormonal changes when a girl or boy is between the ages of 9 to 19 we look at that as the adolescent stage it is the puberty stage of any teenage child when I talk about puberty, I am looking at that stage when a child, a child's body starts to develop from being a child to an adult. Some parents do not even know what puberty is. Some parents do not know what adolescence is. But this is what happens. At puberty, when your son is in between the ages that I've mentioned earlier, your child begins to develop um, pimples. Some begin to develop deep voices. Some begin to develop penis enlargement. And if it's a girl, they also equally develop certain changes. The girl will begin to have breasts. The girl will begin to have uh, a hip enlargement. She will begin to see her menstrual periods both the boy and the girl will develop pubic hair a lot will change at this period this is something that you can't deal with as a parent and sometimes these these children of ours fail to know how to deal with these changes some get stressed about them some do not know some get too confused about these changes that are happening in their bodies a lot happens that is why i call them unavoidable they can't deal with it i hope i'm communicating here how do you help your child get over this is what makes a difference some girls i've met young girls who go into their menstrual periods and they don't actually know that they are going into the, the, uh, their periods they do not know what are you doing as a parent to help this child what are you doing to help your son or daughter get out of these changes? Then the avoidable changes. They are those changes that happen to our children that are avoidable. And many a times these changes are influenced by a lot of things. The environment in which we live in, social media, peer influence, a lot of things influence these changes if you are out there as a parent and you have not taken time to notice some of these things then i i want to assure you tonight that you are making a very grave mistake take time to study your son or daughter and get to know the changes that are happening in their lives when i talk about these avoidable changes i mean i am looking at a very bigger perspective of this young lady or, or, or boy that is going to grow into a very responsible person, you need to take note of these changes. One, your son or daughter will develop, will start to think in terms of goals, what they want to achieve. I want to do this. When I grow up, I want to be this. This, this comes as they are growing up. The second point here is peer influence. A number of teenage children lose it at this point. Because they want to get acceptance, they want to copy literally everything and anything. Parents, you need to watch, be, be on the watch. Look out for your children. 
you find a child who was not smoking begins to smoke begins to do all kind of weird things their dress code changes i mean the hairstyle changes everything about this child changes because they have influence from their peers the third thing is engaging in sexual or intimate relationships this is another change that happens as children grow during that puberty stage that is why you find a number of schools or teachers will call you up your child has been caught in the act of coupling writing love notes name it sometimes we do not know our children and many a times most parents try so hard to defend their own children because they do not know them the child shows you a different face right before you and when they're out there it's a different person altogether get time and know your own children a number of changes happen in the lives of our children even the dress code will change everything will change social media has influenced a lot of things a number of our children a number of our children out there have been driven by social media you find them on twitter you find them on facebook you find them on anything i don't know how many of us sit down to regulate what our children watch while they are there it is really important i have recently talked to a parent and they've told me can you imagine our own child masturbates oh my goodness a child of 16 is masturbating parents what are you doing out there to help these children get out of this this uh these acts i want to throw it back to us tonight that our children change in between the ages of 9 to 19 some of them are fighting with these changes some of them are confused some of them are stressed some of them do not actually know how to deal with these changes but i'm going to leave it out to you tonight take time to know your child talk to them about these changes prepare them for these changes and help them transition through the right way thank you so much for watching my youtube channel if you are new please do not forget to subscribe if you have been there thank you for keeping around i hope we meet again and the next time we meet again i will be sharing with you what children deal with some that they do share and others that they totally keep quiet and live with as we sum up this topic of uh, parenting i hope we have learned something Thank you so much and thank you for sticking around. We meet again. Bye-bye.